So Sapphire is one of the country's leading utility providers. Our main area of concentration is in the wastewater industry. Basically, we're the company that turn up day and night regardless to fix any problems that you may have, whether that's from a blocked sewer to a burst water main to a leaking gas pipe. We're moving into a more digital network, a managed network, and part of that with most of the water companies has been the installation of network monitors and network sensors. In 10 to 15% of all visits, we were having an issue with damages to network monitors. So one of the things that we have to concentrate then on is ensuring that when our reactive teams go out to respond to issues on the network, they know how to work around the sensors and the monitors which have been fitted into the sewer network. Sapphire, I mean, ultimately are supporting millions of homeowners and they're supporting uh, key utility providers. So really the challenge is all about making sure that as many of those calls are solved first time, it is all very much about trying to reduce those unnecessary journeys. The relationship with Xerox started off as just a normal standardised IT support relationship. But actually what we begin to realise was that as organisations, we shared the same hunger and passion for improvement. And what Xerox did for us was they brought new ways of thinking and new ways of working. We have a problem. These are our problems. How are we going to manage this challenge with network monitoring? And one of the things they did was introduce Care AR to us. Carrier provides organizations and end users an augmented reality integrated platform so that you can troubleshoot, install, maintain or train your end users using a no-code platform that you can then empower um, using these augmented reality experiences. We've got thousands of members of staff out there working on hundreds and hundreds of specialist pieces of equipment and vehicles. And the great thing is Carrier, with the Experience Builder, provides a digital library of all the necessary information to be able to operate and maintain those vital bits of equipment. Those experiences can then be consumed via an app or via a QR code or embedded into your existing processes and your CRM. As part of that same platform, you can then also escalate for remote assistance so that you can identify, resolve, um, escalate and fix issues remotely, resulting in reduction in truck rolls or unnecessary visits. We use augmented reality to give them a full step-by-step -step breakdown of how they would need to remove a particular monitor, how they can replace that monitor. We also use video tutorials as part of the system as well, which is really good because it explains it to the teams in layman's terms exactly what they're working with and how, you know, how to remove them, how to replace them. In the older days, you'd open a big manual and it'd tell you how to work and how to operate and how to fix something. What Care AR has done is taken the knowledge and information that we need at a specialist level and made it easily available at a point of work. It uses smart technology to simplify the process. But guess what? You don't need to be a technical genius to use it. And that's what's amazing about it. We can equip our people with all the expertise and technology they need at their fingertips and through their tablet or smartphone, be able to use and apply it. We've increased productivity. We've reduced downtime. We've reduced failure cost. We've upskilled our workforce in an extremely short period of time. We haven't had to pull people offline for days, weeks and time to train them up on how to do what are actually repetitive but important tasks. Since the monitor started going in from sort of 2021 onwards, we, you know, we'd seen around a 10 to 15% damage rate when visits were carried out by the maintenance teams. The benefit of using Cur AR is that that's going to allow us to get that down to zero. So over the last six months, Xerox working with Sapphire, we've been able to expand this from a very small scale pilot to where we are now. We're supporting over 18,000 sensors across the wastewater network in the Northwest. Over a hundred crews are now actively using it every single day. And ultimately uh, that's really helped with Sapphire's number one priority, which is becoming a more sustainable business. How do we reduce that carbon footprint? And every return visit that we are able to reduce has a positive impact on that.